Salute the Badge is sponsored by Montana Railing, supporting the Main Street of Montana for 30 years. He has worked alongside some of the most powerful men in the U.S. military, and he protects and serves the people of the Sealy Swan. Tonight, we salute the badge and the incredible accomplishments of Missoula County Deputy Bob Parcell. Coming off the trail on the Bob Marshall, I'm coming down to the trail. You need to take a lot of notes to keep up with the career of Missoula County Sheriff's Deputy Bob Parcell. Even he needs a lot of photo albums to document it all. It's been quite an adventure so far. It started as a U.S. Forest Service smoke jumper, something he still did even after he became a Missoula County Sheriff's Deputy. I was also continued to jump at that time as a jumping deputy. They kind of wanted to have an affiliation with the, uh, the smoke jumpers in case it was a plane crash in the, in the wilderness or something and needed to have Sheriff's Office representation. Then came the Marines, where Deputy Parcell was a commissioned officer serving five years, later earning the rank of Colonel in the Marine Reserves. He was called up to serve in support of overseas operations after the first Gulf War. He was then called up to coordinate the training of police officers in Iraq after the September 11th attacks. It was very interesting, it was very necessary, and it was satisfying that we were assisting him. A lot of good people died. We got attacked all the time. And where he flirted with death while serving in the Marines, it was an attack here that could have doomed him. It was a stormy night in June of 1992 while attempting to question a witness to a crime in the Condon area. The witness shot him in the chest with a 41 Magnum, a completely unexpected attack. His police vest took the brunt of the shot to the chest and saved his life. That's when I began to hear the pops. Pop, pop, pop. And about the second pop, I realized I was under fire. Well, I didn't know how bad I was hit at the time. When I reached in and came out with a handful of blood, I kind of went, oh. Deputy Parcell's courage under fire earned him praise from President Bill Clinton. Right now, he's the only deputy working Sealy Lake, a unique opportunity to serve. Working up there, you get a proprietary sense of things. You actually, you actually own this. And when something happens, I want to take care of it. Every time I, I get into a call, I know them and I want to provide them the service one way or the other, be it good or be it bad. He's a high energy guy with a lot of confidence in those coming up the ranks behind him and has some sage advice for us all. My big thing, and I tell the young guys here, and I think they look at me kind of weird, and I say, you know, as long as you say you're having fun doing what you're doing, then continue to do it. And it's the same thing in the core, and the same thing in the, in the smoke jumpers. You're doing it because that really is something you love to do and it's fun. Yeah, he has his own cardboard cutout, too. It's pretty neat. He also ran for sheriff four years ago. He's not running this time, but has not ruled out a run in the future. That's one of those